All right, we are going to start with adding using an open number line. We'll start with 23 plus 32. We can see that our top add-in is 23, and the 23 has already been added to the open number line. So we will be looking at the number 32, starting with the tens place. How many tens are represented in 32? We see that there are three, and that would represent three jumps. One, two, three, and they are all adding 10. So this would be 10, 20, 30. Now, looking in our ones place, how many ones are represented? There are two. One, two, and each one of these represents adding one. Now, our first jump from 23, we're at 33. Next jump, 43. Next jump, 53. Now we have our two jumps that have a value of 1. So that's from 53 to 54 and 55 is our last jump. So 23 plus 32 equals 55. Now looking at our next problem, we have 61 plus 17. We see that the 61 is represented on the number line, so we are looking closely at 17. How many tens are represented in 17? One. So we will have one jump that has a value of 10. How many ones are represented in 17? There are seven. So let's draw our seven jumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And they all have a value of one. Let's do our math. We jumped 10 places from 61 to 71. That means that this jump is 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, and last 70. Eight. So the sum of 61 plus 17 equals 78. Looking next at subtraction, the one thing it's important to note is with subtraction on the open number line, the first number is represented all the way to the right on the number line because our number will be getting smaller. We will be working back from 73. We are subtracting 12 from 73. So we would do, looking at our tens place first, how many tens are represented in the number 12? There's only one, so we would have a nice jump that would represent subtracting 10. And in the ones place, there is a two, so we need to have two jumps representing 
subtracting one and subtracting two. We started at 73. This jump back 10 places makes this 63. The next jump, 62. And the last jump, 61. So 73 minus 12 equals 61. Our next problem is 56 minus 26. Our 56 is here and it is represented all the way to the right on the open number line. Let's start by looking at our tens. The tens place has a value of two tens. So we know that we're going to have one, two jumps that represent subtracting 10 twice. Next, we look at the ones place. Six is represented in the ones place, so we will be subtracting our going backwards six places. One, two, three, four, five, six. All my minus ones because each one of these jumps I'm counting backwards by one. From 56, counting back, this number would be 46. Our next jump would be 36. Now we're counting backward by ones. So this is 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30. The difference between 56 and 26 is 30.